All right, we made it. We are in um, right outside of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Army base is literally right there. Um, got everything set up. We're set up. The site was a very uneven, so you can see. Um, it's uh, at a at a downward angle, and then it was dipping pretty far on the right. So we were able to manage it in. First time backing in by myself into a a, a spot. So should have some champagne and cheers to a successful dock. And um, everything's hooked up. It's deep in the woods. It's beautiful out here. It's very humid, but been raining all day um so we're gonna go for a walk around and see what the grounds look like we're gonna be here for a couple days so yeah this guy's ready to go this guy's ready to go <laughs> free odin hi buddy hey you've been cooped up in the car all day let's run Good boy. Hi, buddy. Well, I figure since I'm officially living in this travel trailer full time, and that I am on my first day of officially being a full time R uh, RVer, uh, at least for the next seven months, that I should give you a tour. Yes, it's a little crazy and hectic right now. I still have to figure out where stuff's gonna go and I probably pack too much. So over time, we'll get a little more organized and cleaner, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Remember, this is only a 21 footer. We've got a short queen. Um, actually, there we go. Storage up above. Got everything in bins for the clothes. We've got great windows. Um, air vent I've got the AC running right now that's why it's loud um, the couch Odie Goats is chilling he's had a long day um, this is the the office setup uh, so TV um, I got a whole bunch of crap going on behind there right now <laughs> lots of storage above here I brought a bunch of books that I said I'm gonna read more storage, everything's packed to the gills. Uh, the kitchen's awesome because uh, most 21 footers don't have a oven um, or a full fridge freezer. But it's got fridge freezer, microwave, um, vent, little window. I installed a, um, I installed a water. Uh, so I've got water filters outside and then I've got that one for drinking water. And, uh, and then the bathroom here, now it's, it's pretty small. I updated the toilet to a porcelain toilet. Right now, this is basically the food pantry. I'll get through that, all that canned food here soon. Um, and then we just got more storage underneath the sink and then the shower. Uh, I haven't pulled the vacuum. <laughs> I need to pull the vacuum out of the shower for driving purposes. It was the only place I could put it, so nice shower with a skylight and then a fan here so yeah it's you know it's small it's tight it's compact um but we're gonna make it work hello there we are officially heading west southwest um left this morning from fort campbell kentucky clarksville tennessee area uh and hit the road had some issues with my uh, TPMS for the trailer tires the signal just kept going in and out it did that on the way down from Tennessee and the, the system I bought came with a booster so we stopped and uh, stopped and installed this booster underneath the trailer to boost the signal of the tire sensors and it's been working great since just chilling 
I don't care. I'm in no rush. We're doing the trip in four days. About 300, 300 to 350 miles a day. The things you see on the interstate. One piece of advice. Just relax. Slow down. You'll get there when you get there. And if you know me, you're probably saying, shut the hell up, Ian. Uh, you used to drive like a freaking madman. And yes, I did. But, times change, right? We're gonna, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop at a rest stop here. And, uh, what? Let the boy stretch his legs. Get something to snack on so just checking in um i figure that out but yeah we had a good night's day hit the road um about 10 just took things slow made some breakfast and uh we're about two and a half hours away from Weatherford. Tomorrow we'll do uh, Weatherford to Odessa, and then uh, Friday will be Odessa to Las Cruces. All right. We're in Las Cruces. Um, this is home for the next month, possibly two. We're going to go to Elephant Butte um, after a month, but I really like this campsite we're at, this RV park. It's called uh, Hacienda RV Park beautiful mountains uh, over here um, really close to White Sands unfortunately White Sands we can't camp overnight uh, I was hoping to do some night photography out there but we can't so we're gonna <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you guys the site here so um, it's a great great little site um, get you know, wide enough to park the truck and the camper and uh, Really great neighbors. It's pretty hot here right now. It's still in the 90s. Um, I mean, it's not 90s Indiana is unbearable. 90s here is not too bad. The sun's pretty hot today. There's no breeze. The other day there was a really, really great, long, uh, strong breeze that made it really, really comfortable. So, yeah. But I thought I'd let you know we're here. We're in um, our first um, campsite for um, the next one to two months, and uh, it's beautiful.